Hi there, my name is Jimmy Locke and I'd like to show you my upgraded invention. What I have here is a two-stage wet scrubber that is enhanced electrically. Now what's unique about it is that the first stage of the wet scrubber charges the incoming air and the second stage of the wet scrubber absorbs that charged air. What's great about this is that it doesn't produce any ozone from the high voltage circuit. So let me show you how it works. The dirty air enters here. Uh, and this tank is a pool of salt water. Air will enter the salt water and get charged with the negative charge. The, the negatively charged air will pass up this tube into the second stage wet scrubber. This is also filled with salt water, but it's charged with a positive charge. So the negative and positive will neutralize in this tank. It'll pass through another wet scrubber and then be sucked out here. Here is the high voltage circuit. What you have here is two five-stage Cockcroft Volton multipliers, one producing the negative voltage and one producing the positive voltage. The upper one produces positive high voltage and the lower one produces negative high voltage. Both circuits are grounded with this terminal. So here's how I plan to test it. What I have here is starch powder. The particle ranges from 0.8 microns to 30 microns. So I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to use this black sweatshirt against the output and see if it turns white. So I plan to use a respirator just in case it doesn't work. So here are the results. I don't see any white. So the problem I'm having now is that I don't know exactly how well it works. I know that it can filter out particles from 2 microns and above by measuring uh, carbon dust and then sampling with paper towel and seeing under a microscope. But below that, I really don't know. Um, I tried using a particle counter, but given that this is a wet scrubber, it puts tiny water vapor droplets into the air and it just causes a huge uh, particle count. So. There's no way to figure out if what I'm filtering is actually getting filtered. So in the future, I'd like to try to figure out how to test this device uh, without spending a fortune. 